Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I apologize. I have been missing so much today. I have got to do better um, because this is actually kind of big. Actually, it's kind of huge. Uh, Damon Arnett, cornerback Damon Arnett, former first-round draft pick Damon Arnett, who... Uh, was with the Raiders, and the Raiders had all kinds of issues that happened with the team that, uh, <laughs> beyond just John Gruden, they had some players that just kind of did some things that weren't real good. Well, Damon Arnett on Monday resolved a felony gudge uh, case by pleading guilty and then claiming he was about to board a flight to Dallas-Fort Worth to meet with the Dallas Cowboys about signing with the team. Um, here's, here's the problem right here. This was the quote of him after pleading guilty on the gun charges that was reduced from a felony charge down to um, a misdemeanor. If I'm blessed enough to get another chance in the NFL, then I'm going to kill that. Poor choice of words, okay? You don't just plead guilty to a gun charge and told that you are basically lucky that you're not going to jail um, and no more guns. You don't then proceed to say, if I get a chance in the NFL, I'm going to kill that. Killing is not something you should put out there. Um, we don't know. It has not been confirmed by the Dallas Cowboys about him coming through there. We do know this much. If you want to get some attention, if you want people to know, hey, I'm out here, then what you have to do is mention the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys, of course, are always being pimped out on everything. I mean everything. Let's go back here a little bit on the backstory of what happened uh, with him. Um, a judge sentenced former Las Vegas Raiders cornerback Damon Arnett to community service and ordered him to pay a fine for showing a gun to a L.A. strip ballet last year. Arnett, 26, pleaded guilty Monday to charges of assault and drawing a deadly weapon, both misdemeanors. Judge Ronald Israel then sentenced Arnett, requiring him to complete 50 hours of community service and pay a $2,000 fine and forfeit his gun. No guns, Israel warned him. No guns of any kind. In May, a grand jury indicted Arnett on assault with a deadly weapon and firearms-related charges. Um, and Metro Police arrested Narnett on charges of carrying concealed weapon without a permit, assault with a deadly weapon, and two drug charges. The Clark County District Attorney Office dropped the case in July 2022. On the night of the incident, a parking, uh, a park MGM parking attendant asked Arnett for his valet ticket, which Arnett had thrown out. In his initial arrest, arrest report, police later stopped Arnett at a gas station on Las Vegas Boulevard, believing the car was stolen. Documents said Arnett denied pointing the gun at anyone, the transcript said. Um, the updated charge uh, pleads guilty to Monday, speculated he's placed in reasonable apprehensive of medium bodily, bodily harm by, an existing, by exhibiting a deadly weapon in a rude manner while the person was walking away and that he willfully and unlawfully drew the exhibit a uh, deadly weapon, a handgun, an angrily threatened manner in presence of two or more people, document said. So he's happy to put this matter behind him as far as the court systems go. Now, of course, we had um, Alvin Kamara who got his case put behind him and the NFL proceeded to suspend him for three games. No word if the NFL will suspend him for any time um, other than that. So, um, We'll see if he gets that opportunity with the Dallas Cowboys, which at the moment seem to be loaded at cornerback. Um, not sure that we have the space for him, but then again, talent trumps everything. Um, we'll see. So there you go. Damon Arnett. Yeah, I'm sure the talking heads out there would love this one because they say, oh, of course the Cowboys want him. Yeah, it's the wild, wild west with him. Yeah, okay. Anyway, I don't see this one happening, but we'll have to wait and see. Hope you have a great night. Peace.